Hey guys, it's Octavia and welcome back. So today I'm going to tell off on myself just a little bit. So I'm in here recording, one, because Bo's on his computer, Little Man's on my computer, and I was going to be awesome and test out our new GoPro that Bo bought. And I cannot turn it on. I don't know how. I, I, I pushed every button. I don't get it. And I was going to be able to send you guys or show you guys some fishing videos today, but I can't do that because when we went fishing this morning, the, the little waterproof case on it, apparently you can't hear anything with the waterproof case on it. So there's no fishing videos, guys. I'm sorry. And there's no GoPro video right now because I can't make the thing come on. There's only like three buttons on this thing. It doesn't come on. I don't get it. And he's in there playing a video game, so I don't want to bother him. So yeah, I'm in here on my phone trying to do this little video. But um, this is another way I'm going to tell off on myself. So we've decided over the past couple years, most of our money goes to groceries. It's ridiculous. Not most of it, but you know, whatever. A lot of our money goes to groceries and going out to eat a lot. So we tried to come up with a plan to not spend so much money on food, but buy enough food to last us, you know, a while. And it never works. It just never does. So we finally got on a thing where we noticed we would get in a pattern and we would eat like the same thing like over and over like during the winter months we'd wind up eating like chili and um, soups and stuff like that so we just buy the same thing for a couple of weeks so now I kind of know what we're eating at the time so I went grocery shopping the other day this way if I could eat or if I could buy enough food to last me a week or two then I wouldn't have to go back to Walmart because every time I go into Walmart I wind up spending like a hundred bucks and it's like I didn't even need that I just put it in the buggy because I was there I was hungry you know so if I get everything at one time I'm not gonna go back and about three weeks ago it worked I went to Walmart I got a bunch of stuff and we did go out to eat a couple times but I get all this stuff and I put it in the buggy and I was like we can eat this on this day blah 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 and I come home tell the kids not to be eating without permission didn't work they grabbed all the snack cakes but I still had food in the fridge and in the cabinets. We were good for almost a week and a half. I didn't even have to go to Walmart. It was so nice. But last weekend, I went to Walmart, and my buggy is, like, overflowing, guys. And it's not... I guess it was that bad. So I get to the register, and I pull my phone out. I've loaded most of the stuff up, and I pull my phone out, and I text Bo, and I'm like, Man, I really think I bought enough groceries to last us till the middle of next month. Put my phone up. And the lady in front of me, this is not a lie, I can't make this up. The lady in front of me is talking to the cashier and she says, Man, I sure hope she got enough groceries to last her a month. I was like, you know what, me too. I really hope so too. Because I have a son who eats me out of house and home. And then, you know, I, I eat junk food all the time. She actually said that, guys. I am not kidding you. That's hilarious. It cracked me up. Like, I've never really had people, like, say stuff to me out in public just, you know, randomly about stuff. She, yeah, she said it. It was, like, no joke, man. It, it was so funny. I laughed so hard because not only had I just texted that, and then she says that, and I was thinking, oh, my gosh, this buggy is, like, massive. And really, I didn't think it was that much food, but um, we're, you know, it was last weekend, so I'm really hoping it lasts me for a while. But, yeah, I just... I don't know. I tried to get something everybody liked. So, you know, and any kind of snack cake. And I told the kids not to eat the snack cakes. Of course, Daddy was home with them on Monday. And I come home and, like, one of the boxes was gone. I was like, really? I told you, don't let them in my snack cakes. Well, Daddy said we could eat something. Yeah, okay. Whatever. They were gone. And, of course, it had to be the chocolate ones. And then my son's crying. That was his favorite one out of all the ones I bought. Like, whatever. But, yes. Anyways, it kind of works if you kind of know what you're going to get to go shopping and do that. But, yeah. But that's how my weekend's been going. So, at least I don't have to go grocery shopping for a while. So, you guys got any crazy grocery stories? Probably, you know, I don't know. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching and putting up with my crazy stories. I really appreciate you guys' support. And I'm at like 71 or 72 subscribers now so I'm kind of getting an idea what I'll do when I reach a hundred subscribers I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll answer like five questions for you guys about our life nothing too personal I ain't gonna tell you where I live <laughs> but I'll, I'll do I'll make Bo get in a video with me you know maybe yeah I could probably you could be like do you have any videos of Bo and I could post one up here 
you know, something like that. But I'm still contemplating the idea if I ever hit 100 subs. I really appreciate you guys' support. It's awesome. And I like talking with you guys and playing games with you guys. It's so much fun. Um, Till next time. Peace.